I want to go ahead and fix it right. So we're going to go ahead and fix it right. Replace that tail panel. Get rid of the cancer. Everything else looks pretty solid. I did notice, I didn't even notice before, but I got way down low. Right there at the top of my trunk. Right there. I, uh, let's see if I can get in the trunk here and show you. Yeah, see, right there, I got the original jack still in place, but I don't have the spare tire or the lower section of the jack. See, I've got the, I've got the jack, but I don't have the inflator and the spare and uh, the base of the jack and all that stuff. It's all missing, but uh, yeah, I do have the jack though. That's a lot of times that jack doesn't get put back. So my guess is they never used it. And it's probably been there since the car was brand new. So anyways, I'm going to get back to this. So I uh, finally got the rear bumper off. So here's what we're looking at. That last one had a feeling everything was so rusted down there that because uh, it didn't have the washer on the back of it either, it fell apart while I was unbolting it. It pulled right on through. Not a surprise. It's got all this rust all these holes up here isn't too bad it's pretty pretty solid up higher but all this rust is down low i mean look at all that all that crap look at all that rust in there look at it just piles piles of rust in there Ugh, all the way across all the way across the bottom is just rusted out galore on this poor, 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 poor car. Look at that. It just, it's gone. Watch me stick my finger in a dang black widow or something in there. That'd be horrible. I hate spiders. Snakes, not a problem. Spiders, oh my gosh. So it looks like when I cut this back panel off, I'm gonna have some uh, reconstructing to do on this under this panel on the underside, but it doesn't look ultra horrible. It looks like most of it's uh, this outside panel that I got already. But it looks like some of some of this may oh, that might not even be panel there. That's just maybe substructure. But uh, I guess I'll have to take all this wiring loose from back here, all these uh, lights and everything, and get it all out of this back panel, so I can take take this back panel off. Cause uh, I don't know. I don't know that looks like all of this rust and where it's at is below the trunk line and the other panel looks to be in pretty decent shape under there it's got some surface rust that needs cleaned off and stuff but like here here's a hole i'll have to replace some metal there 
That shouldn't be too bad. It looks like a lot of it's intact though. So, I don't know. It looks like most of that is just salt spraying crap from the roads in Minnesota that got up underneath driving in the wintertime, got up under there and it just corroded all that around the bolt holes and everything that pulled up in here, sprayed in the, the hole in there, you know, just collected and because it's kind of hard to wash, I would imagine in there. It, uh, all that just rusted out, so. Whew, it looks like this panel won't be horrible, horrible. It looks like it sits on top of everything. Except for, it might, I don't know, I'll have to clean off all this crap. So I guess I'll get my grinder with my wire wheel. See if I can't figure out which way these wires go. I think... I don't know. Where the hell do they go? They come through. There's only two wires go through there. Oh, okay, I see. It's just this marker light. Comes through there. I'll take this cover off here. There we go. And then that should pop out there. Yeah. So this cover just slides on. And that locks that grommet into place. So, should be able to take all this loose pretty easy now. So I'm back, changed the battery. So as I was explaining, and a battery died, I've got a, I don't want to chew up this corner because all this is staying. So I got to get in here and I got to drill those out right. And then uh, I'm sure I got some stuff back under here somewhere to do back under here. Got to get that out of there. All up in there, probably, you know, I got to take out these right here so I can get all this cleaned up. I've got it pretty much cleaned up. Then down here at the bottom, I just cut that off to get it out of my way. I'll have to split this lower part from this upper back part. I'm going to, I've got some holes in this under space, this, uh, I don't remember what they call it, a frame tie bar or something. Uh, I got a few holes back under here from where it rotted on the bumper mount. Uh, otherwise, it looks like it's just pretty much superficial 
surface rust that I can clean up uh, and be all right. So I might get away with just patching a few spots. You know, just patching a few spots on this panel behind. This is all mostly superficial. It doesn't even matter rust. You know, so I'll have to split this here from that inside panel. But other than that, I mean, this backside actually looks pretty good. I, I thought it might be a lot worse, but it's not too bad. I'm going to have to drop the gas tank because uh, these spot welds here are for this uh, bracket in the back for the latch. But I've got... I've got a bunch of spot welds up around inside there that are from this inside trunk panel that are welded to that back panel. So I'm going to have to drop the gas tank, I think, to get the filler neck out of my way so that I can get into that. And I guess it's not so bad, except that... I think it's still got like a half tank of fuel in this dang thing or something so I don't know sucks and then uh, so this has been scraping off this glue because when I was grinding it on the other side probably seen in the time lapse it was smoking really really bad you know I'll get in here and I'll grind off all these little pieces that are left from splitting it but I'm trying to be nice when I'm splitting it save what I can figure out what all I got to repair you know uh, no actuality I think I paid 200 and something dollars for the, the whole back panel the replacement so not too bad I'll get in here and I'll, I'll peel the, up this edge it's just cutting it out like that was way easier than trying to mess with that whole panel in my way you know I can get my chisel because I'm just using a cheap Harbor Freight chisel that I really don't care if I chew it up or whatever. You know, kind of as a panel splitting knife. So, but it's it's way easier to get that thing in here versus from down here. Or from all the way down here trying to get up here and split that all up. You know, or getting inside and then bending the snot out of this panel. Like I started over here, I started doing that. And I think, I think these ridges here are from running the uh the chisel in from the inside and it bending the panel so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of straightening on this panel i think before i put the uh, the rear panel back on but uh i want to get in here and clean up this glue clean up the edges you know get in here so i can reseal reseal all this stuff in the trunk you know you can see uh, you can see the little spots of light back up in there. Uh, that's from the rust on the, the fender well and the fender lip. So, I'm getting there. Just gonna keep chiseling away at it and uh, keep pulling more of the stuff off. You know, I'll separate this part of the panel. I'm pretty sure because I'm looking, I got this little rust hole right here pretty sure that around this bumper mount is going to be pretty much just like the other side uh, where it's just maybe not quite as bad but it's yeah it's pretty rusted I mean you can I just punched a hole right there with my finger yeah see that's a it's a pretty good size hole there now yeah I think uh, I'm gonna have oh, 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 oh yeah <laughs> I better be careful. I'm gonna cut the snot out of myself. Have to go for a tetanus shot, and man, I hate shots. Almost as much as I hate spiders. But yeah, that's uh, that, that's a pretty big hole there now. I can two finger it. Anyways, yeah, pretty sure underneath this panel, this part where the bumper mounts. Uh, it's gonna be pretty, yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty much gone on this side around where the bumper mounts. 
Yeah, it's gone. It's really, really gone. So, yeah, I mean, just pushing on it. All that, sh all that metal just crumbles away. So, end up splitting that off. I think I'll get on it tomorrow. Because, I don't know, it's a 15 minute drive from the house to get here to the hangar. And then after I eat dinner and sit down to chill, I just, I never feel like driving back. I, mean, I don't know, man. I think if I look at this panel and I decide that I want to replace it with a new, a new piece. Uh, I ordered, I ordered the patch panels for, I ordered the patch panel for this lower quarter back here. But I've got all this rust, all of this is gone, even on the inner fender and the, the, they call it the outer wheelhouse. I've even got, that's all destroyed. And then, you know, this one, like the other side, this is all rotted out in here. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm working on the front fender. I've got to do the front fender on the other side. Uh, the same way um, I'm doing this fender. See, I've got uh, this little panels for the driver's rear quarter panel in front of the wheelhouse. That's like the front edge of the wheelhouse. I made that one off off video, and of course these two that I made. So, yeah, over here I've got to do. I've got to do this fender. This one, I don't know. It's got a lot of Bondo like the other one. So I have a feeling that underneath it's going to be almost as bad as that passenger side was. But maybe not. Maybe not. Who knows? This door, this lower part of the door is pretty rusted. So I think I'm going to have to... And that's completely rusted through to the door panel. But I, I got a piece lower this lower corner i have a door from a camaro and it should be it should be the same so i think maybe i'll just cut this this piece out and then uh you know clean out under that lip fold that metal back clean it all up put in the new section and then bring that lip back over and everything and this will be fine and that i think is really the only damage i've got on a door uh, this one, of course, I've replaced this piece of metal here. It uh, just looked really pitted and stuff. And I got to figure out how I'm going to get in here and replace this this inner piece. That's pretty well gone. You know, I'm uh, not sure how structural it is, but uh, I want to do it right. So I, I don't know. I may just come in and just section in this top. Or this this lower piece, maybe. I don't know. And then I've got some rust in the fender lip here on this side. It's not really horrible, so I'm not sure. And then of course I got that rust back there. So I've got that patch panel and this patch panel, and then two on the other side. I've got them ordered, but I don't know. They may not be what I want, kind of like the patch panels I got for the front fenders. And if they're not right, then I may just send them back. Have a good night and uh, get motivated. Go out and do something. Work on a project, get something done. Even if you get a little bit done, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit ends up adding up and then eventually a project will get done. So like, subscribe, comment, try and keep up with things. I, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and keep up with things for you. I don't know, new thing for me. So we'll see. I'm out of here.
so I've been kind of busy. Oh, hell. Anyhow, uh, I think my lens is kind of dirty. But I've been fitting this tail panel. Finished getting everything cut out. I've been trying to get it fit. still got to do a bunch of repairs underneath but just trying to get this panel fit it's a little bit of gap over in the filler neck area there's a I don't know that's that original panel underneath there it's got a big old big old hole in there that's why it did sit right in the trunk I noticed that before I did all this because uh okay you can see right there a gap that's that one on the outside so but my fit mat inside isn't too bad I'll, I'll end up uh, see there's a gap I'll have to put some body seam sealer in there but I gotta got a hammer on these lower edges and straighten them out and bend them out and get a better better contact versus that gap in there. And then uh, down in there, I gotta reconstruct some of that quarter panel tail end. You can see this this panel over there in the corner. Actually, you can see it. It actually attaches to the quarter panel, whereas the other side doesn't. But, uh, yeah. Looks like it's fitting pretty good, though. Of course, I I cut off the the inner panel up underneath the, the panel that's up inside. I got that one cut off. As you can see, there's no fuel tank in it either. Got that out. But it's pretty even on both sides. Not too bad. This side's a little higher than this side over here. You can see from this little round notch, the placement and the bottom edge of the fender, or the rear quarter, compared to that side. There's a pretty, pretty decent de difference, but it's not horrible. A little bit. Suppose you can't ask for too much when you're replacing stuff. You know, it's not like it fits the greatest from the factory either. But yeah, you can see up underneath. Uh, got that panel completely tore out. You know. So. Yeah completely tore out so I have to buy a new one of those panels I think it's like a hundred bucks or something so I figured what the heck versus having all the rust to just go ahead and buy a new one anyhow I think I'm gonna call it I gotta get ready to go back to work go back to work for two weeks stink anyways that's where I'm at right now. Just uh, getting the fitment in there. I think these, uh, I think these rails here. I think that lines up pretty decent. You know, I'm gonna have to put body seam sealer all up in there for the so it doesn't leak and all that, and try and weld. I'll weld in some of that, and, but. Uh, really doesn't look too bad I could shape that a little bit better there but not looking too bad I don't think so we'll get the rust fixed